Hi there everyone, my name's Dave West, I hope you're all doing well. So welcome back to the ultimate video test. And this evening I'm checking out the Poco X3 NFC in low light conditions. Now as with all ultimate video tests, I'll leave all of the main camera specifications down in the description. And I'll just run through some of the high level features throughout the video to help save you a little bit of time. So we're starting off with, with the front facing camera. And this is a 20 megapixel fixed focus camera. And this can record video at up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now this doesn't have any electronic image stabilization. However, that can work as an advantage because you don't get the micro jitters in the footage that you can do with phones which have built-in software stabilization. Now this is the only frame rate and resolution that it can record in. And it does record in stereo sound with nice decent quality as well. Almost double that of the OnePlus 8T, which will also be in a low light test very shortly. But this is just giving you an idea of what the video recording looks like on the front facing camera with a Poco X3 NFC. In these more challenging lower light conditions. All right, so moving around to the rear cameras then, and starting off with the ultra wide angle lens. And this is a 13 megapixel fixed focus camera. And this can record video at up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. So this is currently 1080p at 30 FPS. And all of the rear cameras can record in stereo sound and all have electronic image stabilization to help keep things nice and smooth. Now you can switch that off if you wish. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave it on. If you'd like to see a video with it switched off, please let me know and I can do a very quick video showing you what the footage looks like with the stabilization, stabilization sorry, switched off. But this is just to give you an idea of how the ultra wide lens looks like at night time. And to really tax the lens, this is at 1080p at 60 frames per second. You can see a noticeable drop in overall exposure because the dynamic range really suffers. In all fairness, it's not exclusive to the Poco X3. Pretty much every ultra wide angle camera I've used at low light is like this. But just in case anyone wants to see what 1080p 60 looks like, this is how it is. Okay, so this is the main 64 megapixel camera. Now this is an autofocus camera and it can record video up to 4K at 30 frames per second with electronic stabilization and stereo sound. Now I've no idea what the footage looks like when it's been encoded in the background so you let me know what you think of the stabilization and how the overall image looks. I come into a much brighter area now you can see a lot more detail. Uh, well we are here let's check out the autofocus. You can see there with some good light around it, the Poco X3 has a nice smooth and reasonably quick mechanism. It's kind of getting a bit trick there with the lights. You can see it does a reasonably good job, although it does appear to be a little less accurate than in daylight conditions. Something is fooling it, I think, which might be the light glaring off the phone case. But it does eventually get a lock on the subject. All right, so 1080p at 60 FPS then from the main camera. So this is the max it can do at 60 frames per second. You can see it does a much better job than the ultra wide angle camera, letting more light and you can see more of the area. It's still quite dark. But it is a bit more usable than the ultra wide angle lens.
All right, so this is the movie frame mode then at 4K at 30 frames per second. And we're just gonna get past this lamp post. And just point up to the moon. And you can see, we can see a lot more of the detail in the sky, but I have noticed this lens has a bit of a problem with focus pulsing. So I've just locked the exposure so you can see how it handles the moon and the surrounding clouds. It's not quite perfect, but I still think it looks pretty decent. So the electronic image stabilization may introduce some micro jitters. I can see a little green dot in the center of the screen there wobbling around. But this is just to give you an idea of how the phone handles different exposures when tasked to do so. You let me know what you think of the movie frame option at 4K 30 frames per second from the rear camera. Okay, so checking out two times digital zoom now. And this is at 4K at 30 FPS once again. Now you can go up to six times digital zoom. And you can see noise does creep in and the overall image quality, especially in this lighting, does suffer. But I think if you go back to around about three times digital crop, the image is usable if not perfect. Or if you did need to use this and you were just in a a stationary position then I would imagine this would do pretty much fine and now we're back at the standard magnification from the lens so this is one of my favorite options on the Poco X3 when I did my daytime video test and this is the front and back mode so what this allows you to do is record video at 1080p at 30 frames per second from both the selfie and the main rear camera simultaneously and you still get stereo sound and you get this cool picture in picture effect that you can do from the lenses which i think looks pretty cool now the one thing i wasn't too fussed on with this particular mode when i look back at it is that it does feel a little bit disjointed because you get stabilization on the rear camera but you don't get anything on the front camera so you get a nice smooth video from the rear lens but not from the front but it's a fun feature and I would think lots of people will get some use and value out of this but I wanted to show you what it looks like in low light so you can see how the phone copes in these more testing conditions all right so that's the ending of the ultimate video test for the Poco X3 NFC in low light given its price point I think the video quality in low light whilst well, not perfect or it's not going to blow anyone away I do think it's reasonable quality for anyone who wants to film in darker conditions and obviously I'm testing it a bit more because I'm actually walking with the phone and don't forget if you actually stood still in a stationary position then obviously it allows the phone to still the sensor still the sensor keep the sensor still rather and allow a bit more light into the sensor so what I'm doing here is not quite what everyone would be doing but it's just to give you an illustration of how the phone looks in more challenging lighting you let me know what you think down in the comments of the video quality on the Poco X3 NFC in low light. And don't forget, if you're new around here, then please do consider subscribing so you don't miss more videos coming like this on the channel very, very soon. But for now, this has been my ultimate video test for the Poco X3 NFC in low light. My name's Dave West, and I'll catch you guys later.